Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Ashes to Ashes. So, this part we will probably just be focusing on trying to deal with our economy to a degree. Because as it turns out we can't really survive, uh, at least when it comes to energy credits, without using capacity overload. But capacity overload costs influence and only lasts for so long. So, yeah, we have basically until 2350 to do something to make it to where we're not losing a hundred some odd energy credits or whatever it was um, a month. Uh, one of the ways that comes to mind to do that is to expand our territory, but it needs to be expanded to territory that is, well, energy credit rich, which there really isn't any. So the next best thing is probably to come over here, but sadly I can't repair this just yet and even then it'll take a while. Um, so that's still sort of out of the question. And I can't declare war, actually I can't declare war on you, but that gets me into war with these guys that are apparently considered superior overall, I have to call bull on that. Um, but yes, so I think a war is about our only real choice. We don't have a lot of people that we can declare war on without some other issues. Construction complete. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I would need one more to give you guys thrifty. Which, admittedly, thrifty would probably pretty much do it. Uh, but yeah, we can't really do that, so... That's out of the question. This tech will help though, because we are currently at least uh, over our naval capacity. Oh, okay, now we have an extra star base. So Construction complete. That's wonderful. Bring that back up. See. Do I want to go ahead and try and make my way up here? Or at least uh, these two systems? Ah, uh, not really. Ah, uh, where's the colony ship? See no mongrels have declared war on each other. Ah. Uh, Okay, the Kazem Citizen League has declared war on the Covenant of Quapjexi. Uh, or how the hell it's pronounced, something like that. So the Omni Hub and the Kazem Citizen League are fighting you, which actually kind of opens up the Kelazan Republic to a war declaration because you're kind of busy fighting another war. So you may not be interested in coming after me. And I don't see your fleets on the sensors that this system has, which goes out four sectors. So it's one, two, three, four. So I can see out to about here-ish. And I'm not seeing your fleet. I'll wait a little bit and give you time to make sure that your fleet's all the way up here dealing with those guys and then I will probably actually go ahead and declare war on the Kelazan Republic to finish them off. 
I will say though, if we're doing that, to go ahead and move the fleet to um, Bovatir. Losing a little bit of energy, but it's only two, so we'll be fine. Uh, Colony ship, you haven't moved very far. That is a fairly sizable system, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it took you forever to get through it. You know, their fleet is tiny, actually, so you know what? We'll just go here. And we'll take out Hendak first. That's a Savannah World, so I'm going to want to use my transports. Because we like Savannah Worlds. We have mastered a new technology. I mean, their fleet is nowhere in the area, so that's going to take them forever to arrive. Uh, ship hull points. Yes, that sounds wonderful. It's a nice world with energy or minerals. Processing plant there. Mineral processing plant there. Uh, the rest of you, I don't think, produce a lot of minerals. Uh, well, the capital produces quite a bit. Do you have a blank tile that I can use? You got one that's producing food, but I still kind of need food. So I'm going to have to say no to that. Oh, they changed the icon finally. So army detail doesn't share the same symbol as ship details. Because that was an annoying issue. Made it fairly difficult to tell what was where. You know, I'm going to take the game up to three speed. Let's see. And that was way up there, right? Yeah, okay. Construction complete. That's a tropical world there. That's a savanna world. Um, okay, you don't have a planet there. I thought you did. Okay, and you don't have anything there. Ah, uh, you know what? <clears throat> Construction complete. You know, yeah, no, go back, go over here. Go to where I originally planned for you to go. I want you to go ahead and destroy Construction the... Construction complete. Ah, uh, enemy fleet first, just so it's not an issue. Construction complete. Don't know what's the lag looking in the system. Okay, and they're just moving there to blow that up. Colonization efforts begun. Uh, you build an outpost there, because that has quite a bit of energy. You go home so you're safe. Upgrade that, because it'll always be important. I need to select a new leader. 
I'm inclined to go with you, personally. Uh, more so just because of the plus 10 minerals. Given the choices, none of these other guys are particularly good. So we're gonna go for you. Oh, you're 93. Got about seven years, and each election is held roughly every 20. Ah, you'll probably be dead. But th the younger guy is really just not a decent choice. These guys are 107. You know what? Screw it, I'll take the risk game. Uh, okay, we're gonna be shifting some people around, I think. You'll technically take a little bit longer, mostly just because you don't have the skill that that guy's already developed. But that's fine. You're younger, you got psionics, and I'm pretty sure all the psionic techs are, well, except for the psionic jump drive. I think most of the psionic techs are under society as well. I think only the psionic jump drive is under physics. Again, it'll take a little bit longer for you to get there, to get this researched, but we'll be fine. We can wait a little bit longer. You're already max level. So it doesn't really matter if I tell you to go over here and blow that up or not, but it's gonna be annoying, so you know what? Screw it, go ahead, blow it up. Uh, how's your war going? Well, the defender seems to be doing a decent job, considering you guys are already, the attackers are sitting at 26% war exhaustion. Uh, you know what, actually, just to make sure pirates don't frickin' spawn there, go there, deal with that. Uh, while it says we have a 0% piracy risk, uh, should be noted that the way Paradox games work is that they always round we down. Have mastered a new technology. So while that says 0%, it might actually be 0.5%. And it doesn't use the traditional rounding rules. And so as a result, it will say, okay, 0 0.5. Well, that's not 1%, so we're just going to say it's 0. Which is honestly one thing I do find annoying. I wish it would give me the actual percentage for things like that. It just makes things easier. 115 months for that sure is all ain't gonna happen. You know what? Let's get the Urantic Crystals. And I do not have... Uh... Garanthia more, apparently. Uh, do we know of anybody that has Garanthia more? Um, there's some up here. In Sizar. But that actually looks to be about it. Construction complete. I don't see any lying around elsewhere. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Guys repair on your own. Construction complete. No, you don't. Damn it. That's actually kind of annoying. I wish you did. I really do. Uh, 
it's it's only one cruiser that's really hurt, right, game? Just that one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of our Corvettes are apparently hurt a little bit. But, yeah, no, for the most part, it's just that cruiser. So, you know what, no. Uh, oh, wow, you guys got there fast. Well, I think we're ready. I'm going to tell you to go and actually hide. No, go to Dewigs, dude. Seriously. You're going to hide over there? That's a terrible idea. Well, it's the same number of jumps. I guess it's just that this is a smaller system than Dewigs. Okay. Um... You'll be fine because the fleet's all the way over here anyway. So let's go to declare war on you. Theoretically, the Kazam Citizen League could get involved, but I think they'll mostly stay out of the way. Mostly because they're currently busy fighting their own war. And not doing a particularly great job in it, it seems. So purification. We have declared war on the reprehensible Zenos. there so we can destroy that um go ahead and take station engaged. this system since you're gonna need to pass through it anyway might as well really gonna come here and take that you are uh, I should have to replace a couple of losses I think or maybe we'll just do such a great job of killing basically everything that they won't be able to these systems real quick and yes hostile FTL inhibitors do turn red again I assume friendlies will be blue but I can't say for certain mostly just because I don't know there's a Corvette I don't see it. Oh, okay. Pretty sure I saw a Corvette there, but I did not see any Corvettes. Uh, now I'm pretty sure the game will automatically give me all their stuff if they if they get destroyed. Uh, yeah. How about you don't do that? I really don't want you going through the Ravengers stuff, if you guys don't mind. Am I needing to pay less because I'm in a war? I don't think so. That's a little weird. I'm assuming it's just because I've taken we over some more energy technology. credits. There we go. That'll be really helpful. Uh, but I really do need the farms game. Oh, well. Now all of a sudden we're making 23. What's that all about, game? Why am I suddenly getting a lot more... Did they build hydroponics farms on these? No. 
Why the hell am I suddenly getting a lot more food? Oh! Okay, you got Fertility Preacher. That's, uh, that's part of the reason. Okay. That's why. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I still need this. I really do. But that will help with our economy, so let's go ahead and tell the game to build me some more ships. What are you building? Um, not the battleships, which is the we first thing the I would have built technology. personally, game. If only because they're so damn expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and get some Aurelium more. We are using explosives, so we might as well. Uh, we don't have any Urantic crystals, so I'm not too surprised by that. Uh, I am going to downgrade that star base because I frankly don't care for it. fastest. I'll wait for the first fleet to be able to go ahead and jump into the Kelazak system. should be relatively safe to do this so go ahead and build up that stuff again I'm pretty sure I'll automatically get this over here once these guys have been defeated entirely I mean maybe the game will be a dick and say nope it doesn't work like that but I don't think that'll we be have the case. mastered a new technology oh yep our physics research is way up there uh, how are we doing in terms of power? Do I definitely need a better reactor, or are we fine without it? I do technically need a slightly better reactor if I want you to be able to have another shield capacitor. But for the most part, we're fine without it. We are using plasma cannons, right? Uh, yes, we are on one ship design. I think this will get me better. I think this is going to be to the Tachyon Lance. Uh, how long has this been going for? Uh, 23 minutes, so I still got a little ways to go. Just wanted to make sure if I was over time or not. <sighs> we don't need one, but screw it. Let's go and get the better reactor. for our cap again. Not too surprised by that. And sadly this world doesn't have a lot of good energy deposits. And our admiral just died. Oh, it was an admiral that was just sitting back in the... Okay, never mind. Apparently I just had a spare admiral lying about. Go to Manward. Construction complete. I know, game. I'm losing quite a bit of money now. But once I conquer these guys and get access to all their resources, it'll help. complete. 
Are the enemy ships designed to just charge you? Because it seems like they always just charge you. Is it really 175 to replace a freaking Corvette? Uh, yeah. Yeah, roundabout. That's an expensive freaking Corvette. Okay, head to the home world. Also, no Armageddon. Uh, indiscriminate. I don't want you to destroy the world. Just kill all the people on it. Or at least enough to the, where the army can land. Construction complete. Uh, I don't really care too much if we don't have any Aurelia more. It'd be nice, but it's not really something I care too much for. It reminds me to keep the game back up because we don't need to be playing on normal speed. We anymore. have mastered a new technology. And of course, you don't have any Aurelia. I'm not too surprised by that. Let's get the Star Fortress so I can upgrade our trading hubs to Star Fortresses so I can build additional. Uh, trading hubs. You know, I'm pretty sure we can take them. Combat width of only 8? Oh, it's only a size 16. But you guys have a really shitty home world. Okay, oh wow. Zeno scum had beaten back our invasion. Construction complete. Uh, yeah, wow. Those numbers don't add up at all. There, so let's go and resettle you to Azak. Because if I didn't make sure one of my people got over here, then we would have lost the world. I'll be honest, 
Uh, while I do like the psychic trait there, game, admittedly we don't have really any unrest issues, so we'll just kind of ignore that, I guess. Uh, the fact that they're both tied to Iron Fist, which isn't a particularly useful one for us, because, you know, we don't have slaves. Um, yeah. But admittedly, none of the other choices are good, so I'm just going to have to say screw it and take one of you guys. But again, I don't really care for that. Construction complete. Let's go ahead and bring the army over here. That provides how many? Five. Um, no, 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 no. That's being replaced, game. Damn it. Stop doing shit like that. That can be repaired, that can be repaired, definitely repair that. You guys are all better off working some sort of physical labor. Because forced labor is food and minerals. could do processing if I really wanted extra food, but I don't really need it. Uh, these guys' worlds are going to have to be dropped into a sector, however. have the egalitarian attraction if you don't mind. Just as a general preference. Let's go ahead and set it up. Oh no. You guys are getting the other dude. right now so no point we have mastered a new technology wonderful let's go ahead and uh, 136 months ah uh, that'll be helpful for any place where I have a bunch of anchorages which is really only one place right now You guys are growing fairly quickly, so we don't necessarily need to upgrade the farms complete. right now. Ah, uh, let's see, a small fleet of derelict 
city of Zorak warships was recently discovered in the Kelazak system, not far from the territory of the Ravagers. Computer logs on the ships indicate that their crew fled into our space to escape some kind of clan feud. Unfortunately for them, they brought few supplies and soon starved to death. The ships have been adrift ever since. Our engineers have gone over the ships and they appear to be in decent condition. If they are crewed, we could commission them into service with our own fleet. Um, are they gonna be better than mine or am I better off just sticking with my stuff? Because that kind of dictates what is better, and I'm inclined to go with they're not going to be better than mine anymore. If this had happened earlier in the game, then sure. Maybe it would have been useful, but let's go ahead and just take the minerals. Okay, they have a fleet sitting there, but they're not actually coming for us. on that up there so technically speaking yeah I'd have to actually manually take all these systems to own them because you own stuff way out in the middle of nowhere it's far away from the rest of your empire construction complete of armies. Well, actually only got one that you can have. Okay, I was kind of hoping that you would be better, but turns out you're not. stations is under attack. That's fine. One of our mining stations has been lost. It's fine. Ooh. Uh, latent psionic abilities have begun to manifest certain individuals belonging to the Huvidu Zan species. It's not you guys, right? No, okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's see, who the hell are those guys? Oh, you guys! Oh, I don't recall you being spirituals, but apparently you probably were this entire time and I just never realized it. Invading Zeno Lair. What are we looking at in terms of your weapons? Uh, you're really not that great, actually. One of our research stations has been lost. It's fine. I'll end the part after this battle. Yeah, are you guys really just set to... You're set to pick it. Well, that's sure as hell not a pick it. You guys are getting really close. For people that are only supposed to be engaging in a pick it. I mean, this is a knife fight, guys. You all do realize that, right?
Okay, you're that. That's fine. You go home, I guess. I don't have anything better for you to do right now. Construction complete. Let the year tick over. And is anybody moving to that system, or am I going to have to tell somebody to move there? It's kind of like I might need to tell somebody to move there. So in that case, let's find somebody who is not doing a particularly important job and tell them to move there. Uh, okay. You. You're pissed off for some reason. I don't know why. I assume it's just because you hate this planet. So, lucky you, my friend. You're going to get to move to a new planet. Okay, game. You realize these guys are supposed to be working food and mineral tiles for the most part. Complete. Okay, that's 13. One more, and then you're done. Oh no, you're missing a sender class, so never mind, you still need one more. Every time I say you need one more, you need one more. Construction complete. Uh, and I don't know what happened. Oh, wait, that was a pirate fleet over there that I saw before, I think. So I don't know where you guys have your fleet, but it definitely must still be way up here. And the Omni Hub is doing a pretty decent job of taking over systems. Up there. Now this Admiral dies. Uh, I don't care for your f original trait, but I will definitely take Psychic. Okay, that gets you to 13. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Cancel those. Wait, no, you still need the Voldrum class ones. You know, I'll just wait for you guys to merge. Makes it easier. This needs to be moved up here, to be completely honest. Having it down here makes it very difficult for me to see anything, or to actually see it. I didn't realize it was down there until just now. We have mastered a new technology. Wonderful. Uh, I don't really care for the resource replicator, to be completely honest. Most just because we don't have the resources necessary to be able to really use it. I don't really have an issue with governing ethics attraction for the most part. So this isn't a particularly useful tech, so screw it, we shall go for the better point defense. And now you guys can get a shield capacitor. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, the game just has a problem with, for whatever reason, this design. So we'll rename it and get rid of the crown door entirely. I assume that's an issue of the updates. Probably fucking with something in the background that somehow broke it. That's at least my guess as to what happened. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Go back home. You guys go do those upgrades real quick. We have mastered a new technology. Wonderful, and that'll be the end of this part. So let's just find a tech to research, even if it's only for a moment. But given the choices, I think I'm just gonna say screw it and go for the cruisers. Well, no, better thrusters actually are really useful. Okay, that's it for this part. I'll see you all in the next one, but until then, goodbye and a farewell.